Welcome to Far Life 84, What's Next? I'm Lazy Cass, and I'm just as excited as Ella Cruz to join the Far Life 84 community. Check out Ella's Instagram with the link below. She's adoring. Now, with this What's Next series, our goal is to provide regular updates to you on the exciting new features heading to Far Life 84. Let's not waste any more time and dive right into what's next in version 14.4.2. In the previous update, we made some adjustments to the skills of Maggie, Phantom, and MKR. It created a more engaging playstyle for each hero while also contributing to our broader goal of ensuring that every hero gets their chance to shine. Now it's time to discuss what's next for Yong. Yong has always been a valuable intelligence asset and a fight initiator. But we feel that he's overly functional and lacks the ability to create proactive impacts on the field. In the next update, Yong's tactical skill will be transformed into a new one called Blinding Mark. Blinding Mark fires forward a penetrating electromagnetic pulse. Anyone caught in its path will reveal themselves, get marked, and slow down for a short period of time. When a teammate shoots a marked enemy, that enemy will have their vision limited for 3 seconds and the mark will be removed. The goal of this design is to ensure that even without his ultimate, Yong's tactical skill remains influential in the game. Next, let's talk about balance changes. In this update, all defense heroes will receive a buff. As they reach level 7, their HP increase will jump from the previous 20 to an impressive 40, making our defense heroes more resilient in fights. Apart from that, a few heroes are getting some buffs. MKR His tactical skills rocket count will increase to 12 and his damage will also increase. Boo. His tactical skill damage will increase. Sano. His speed bonus will increase with his ultimate. Duckside. He'll now also move faster with his tactical skill. These buffs aim at providing these heroes with more utility throughout the duration of a game. Now a couple of nerfs. Maggie. Her tactical skills countdown will increase by 5 seconds. Her ultimate duration will become shorter during which she can do horizontal flight for 3 times. Phantom. The scanning duration of his tactical skill will be shorter. We'll share the final changes in the official patch notes. I hope you liked how we share our thoughts and details behind these adjustments. What do you want us to share and dive deeper next time? Drop a comment below and let us know. Next, a brand new Battle Pass! Lucinda Mischief Maven A lady of mystery and a street artist, Lucinda spiced up her look with a dash of urban creativity. Feel the gravity of fate! Porcupine, Phantom Fantasy Four Lacked Lizard, Cyber Graffiti This graffiti-covered behemoth is art on four legs. Apart from the new Battle Pass, the update will also come with some new cosmetic items. The Stellar Force thematic sets, the Shriek Fest thematic sets. This update will also unveil our plans for some exciting new decorations. Loot Box and Profile Frame. These new looks will express your personality like never before. We'll share more about these beautiful new decorations in the future, so subscribe and follow us so you don't miss out on what's next in Farlight 84. But we're not done yet! The next update will also fix a couple of issues and bring some extra features for the community. Let's take a look. In the Battle Royale game mode, the ring will no longer close in on areas with super tall structures. This adjustment was made to avoid players from exploiting the mechanism by staying high on top. There's also been feedback that a shorter season has made it too hard to complete the missions. So in this update, you'll find the missions easier. This means that you'll complete the battle pass faster now. Community events are also getting even more entertaining. 
First, in custom rooms, a total of 8 observers are now made available. Having more servers in the same room means that more friends and creators can now join and watch your event. Don't forget, there's a few minutes of added delay which is part of our commitment to fair play. In chat channels, you'll now get a notification automatically when your match is about to start. The clan system has also been updated. You can now create a clan tag of up to six characters. This will make it easier to create your own cool and recognizable tag. Talking about teams, your team's points will now change based on the events you participate in. And if your team's got a no-show in an event, your points will be deducted by a lot. A lot. And if a team cheated, their points will be cleared to zero. Finally, to check your team stats, just click the new profile icons within the clan and you'll find all the information you need. No, 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 we're not done yet. In the next update, the game will provide some amazing Japanese voiceovers for our beloved characters and also system announcements. Kawaii! Let's take a listen. Version 14.4.2 will be available this week. We're also preparing to share even more news with you in version 15.1 coming late October. So subscribe to our channel and follow us on social to stay tuned. Talking about social, we'll be hosting a TikTok dance challenge in the Philippines for four weeks. Join Ella on TikTok and share your take. You'll have a chance to win an MSI gaming laptop, iPad, Apple Watch, and so much more. I'll put the links in the description so you can enter the event. Oh, and comment down below to share your love for Firelight 84. We need it! That's all for today's What's Next episode. We'll see you next time.